Budo.de. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Virtual Reality. I'm still in California here uh, in my hotel room and I've been at HTC office in San Francisco. That's right. And guess what I tried? Of course, the Vive Cosmos. I had pretty much time to try it. Uh, several games like 11.11 or the Blue or stuff. I could really um, concentrate on, on the quality of the headset. And this is a video about the first impressions of the Vive Cosmos. My name is Voodoo. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. So subscribe, hit the bell and don't miss anything. Thanks to my sponsors, Wood Ghost VR, Pommern Events, Peter Vars, My Cyronix, Andy De Pelze and VRM. Besser door. So let's go through the list here. Um, for the design, I think th it's not it's not the best design ever. It looks like uh, it's strange. Uh, look at the front. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if everybody will like it. I, I don't like it so much. But what I like are the six cameras and stuff. But design, I don't care about the design to be honest. Let's better talk about the comfort. Um, comfort was really good. I can really expect to play four or five hours with it because there is a halo design strap. So the, the weight lasts on your forehead here and here on the back. And that was absolutely no problem. You have this little wheel here on the, on the back to, to uh, tighten it and also a strap on the, on the top was really good and you also have this flip up design so you can drink something without removing the headset and also for developers this is really good. The set setup I couldn't uh, see because uh, there was uh, nothing for me to, to try uh, with the software um, that was SteamVR I think but uh, this is this I will show this in the final review of course but let's talk about the very important stuff the display. So. Uh, I, to be honest, I was really impressed by the display. I didn't expect that. So the, it's an LC display and the resolution was so good. Um, you, you, you really have to concentrate on the screen door effect to see it. You still see it, but it absolutely doesn't uh, bother you during gameplay. Um, I would even say uh, it's close to the reverb, um, but I have the same Stuff, I saw the same stuff like with the reverb. When you move your headset, you, you, you see a little grid appearing uh, with, with the pixels, but that was really not a problem. I still had so much fun to play it. It was really good. Uh, what I was totally impressed of were the colors. Uh, so I tried the blue and I, I, I looked at it and I said, wow, this is really good. That was really a good display. Colors are awesome. And, and what I also loved was the black levels. I've never seen an LC display with such good black levels. So if you compare it to Pimax, the, the Pimax black levels are really not good with this LC display. But with the, Pime, for, with the Vive Cosmos, that was, was really good. Also the 90 Hertz were no problem, that everything was fine. Um, the, the lenses seem to be improved. Um, I had some scenes where I could check out the, the God rays and they were much less than with the Vive Pro or the old Vive. Um, they are still there but very, very low so that was not really a problem. The sweet spot was also good. I had no problems to get the right point. Um, also when you put on the headset there's a, a little grid so you can um, adjust the headset correct in the correct position. There was no light leakage. Um, uh, from, from nose or stuff because this, there's this rubber um, thing on, on your nose. Yeah, that's the display and uh, the lenses are, are really okay. They, they are really good. Uh, the feet of view, of course, nothing special. It's the same size than Vive or Vive Pro or Rift. So pretty small, of course, 110. Some, uh, some people said that it's a little bit bigger than... Um, than Rift or, or Vive, but I cannot confirm that I, I just saw this the standard 110 feet of view. Uh, let's talk about the controllers. So when I first had it in my hand, uh, I said, oh, what the heck is that? They are really heavy. They're the most heavy controllers I've ever seen. And I thought, oh, how can I play with that? But I was impressed that it really worked. It, I, I felt that, like uh, that are really controllers that are good quality and you can even hit the wall without destroying it. 
Um, so that was not a big problem for me, the heavy uh, controllers, to be honest. I didn't expect that. Also, the, the two uh, trigger buttons are really impressive and um, was no problem for me to play it. But when we talk about the tracking, this is for now, this is the biggest issue of the Vive Cosmos. The tracking of the headset was awesome, no problems, but of the controllers, that was really bad. It was really bad. So um, if I, even when I hold it just um, like, like this, not in front of each other, just like this, it, even the, the right controller slided a little bit like this and the other one a little bit, and this is bad. When I hold it in front of each other, the tracking was totally gone. Absolutely no chance to, to track it in front of each other, so we will not be able to play games like Onward or where we have to aim with weapons. I, I told this to them and they said they are aware of it and they will improve it. I really hope so because uh, this will be a very big issue if this stays like that. Um, yeah, that's it so far and uh, for the tracking was really this is the biggest issue of the, of the Vive Cosmos. Yeah, um, let's talk about the performance. I, I don't had any problems with that. It was not always 90 frames per second, but I have no idea what, what uh, PC they used. Um, for the heat development inside the headset, it was, it was a little bit warm, but not as warm as the Valve Index, for example. It was uh, awesome. Um, you can remove everything from the from the face insert uh, like the foam or or the the bag or the the um, thing that sits on your forehead no problem you can even clean it very good um that's that's nice um let's talk about the ipd adjustment you have this little wheel and this is mechanical ipd um but what i really um this light was that they only have the minimum value is 61.5 that's the minimum value. I know I have 60 and I even know people that had 58 and they perhaps will have some problems. For me, I didn't have problems with 60, um, but could be a little problem for 58. Uh, the maximum value, oh, I, I, I don't remember it. I was 72, I think. I don't know. I will try that in the review as well. Uh, for people wearing glasses, I'm sorry I couldn't try that. I will um, try that if I have this headset at home. I pre-ordered it for 800 bucks, so it will be um, at my home soon, hopefully. Um, what, what do we have? Uh, the, the lifetime of the battery. Of course, I asked them, what's with the two hours? Is that really true? And they said uh, they are aware of it. They know that people said that, but they said it's not true. Uh, it will be longer than two hours. I couldn't try that because my session was one hour. I, I don't know, something like that. And um, uh, <laughs> I can confirm that. I don't know. I will try that soon. They said it's not correct. The cable was five meters, I think, was uh, you can remove it and stuff. Uh, there was a breakout box. Uh, you can use the um, same breakout box then with the Vive Pro, they said. Connections, we had USB-C port. And um, also, if you remove the front plate, there is a um, slot for the upcoming um, Lighthouse tracking module. And then, if you have the Lighthouse tracking module, of course the problems with the tracking are totally gone be because we can use Lighthouse tracking and, for example, the Vive in the, uh, Valve Index controllers. Um, let's talk about the sound. So we have this um, over-ear um, speakers. Then it's it's strange. Normally you you click it down and then it's it lasts on your um, on your ears. But for this one you have to click it down and then press some small buttons that do another click and then it sits on your ears. The sound was really good. I can tell you that was really good, good bass and stuff. Uh, one of the best sounds I heard so far. Um, so this is awesome. I could not try the microphone. So you know the microphone of the Vive and Vive Pro are really bad. I hope they improved that. I will try it in the review. Um, uh, what, what else do we have? Uh, Compatibility, you can use, of course, SteamVR, Vive port, and whatever you revive would, would also work. Um, yeah, that's, that's it so far. I really hope uh, I could answer some questions now. So my first impression was 
better than I expected. The display is really good, the colors are great and the black levels as well for a, for a um, LC display. There's no distortion and the sweet spot is also good. But uh, of course the field of view is a problem, it's pretty small. But the biggest problem for now, uh, besides the price, of course you know the price, um, is the tracking. The tracking of the controllers is bad and they really, really, really have to improve that. Otherwise people will be very angry <laughs> about that. Um, the price, yeah, it's in, in Germany, I think it's $7.99 and US $6.99. I'm not really sure for now, but you know the price is pretty high, but you have the uh, advantage that you can use a wireless module. You cannot have a wireless module on the Valve Index or the Rift S so far. So this is uh, important stuff. And you can also use uh, modules, uh, for example, the um, Lighthouse Tracking module later. So for the Rift S, for example, you cannot use the Lighthouse Tracking. Also, the screen door effect is very good and the display. It has some advantages, some disadvantages. My Overall impression is better than I expected. However, as I said, I pre-ordered it and um, I will do a full review soon, as soon as I got it. Um, so subscribe and um, then you will not miss it. I hope I answered most questions. If not, write it in the comments below. I will try to answer that. But of course, that was only a first impressions. I don't had many I, I need some several days to do a, a review, not only one hour, of course, so only first impressions. Thank you for watching, guys. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality, guys. See ya. Voodoo.